Have you taken some time to look up at the night sky and enjoy the stars? Can you really blame the Greeks for looking up at the sky and seeing shapes of lines and hunters in the sky? Here is Orion, here is Leo and here is Scorpion. Shapes are so fascinating that learning about them will always be fun. Today, let us learn a little about shapes and their geometry. When the ancient Greeks connected the dots that stars made in the sky, they got lines and shapes. Usually, when a line makes a shape like this, we call it as a curve. But mathematically, even a straight line like this is also called a curve. Curves come in different types. If a curve does not cut itself at any point, it is called an open curve. This, this and this are all open curves. If a curve cut itself, it is called a closed curve. Let us consider this shape. All these points that lie inside the curve are called interior points. These points that lie outside the curve are called exterior points. These points on the boundary are called boundary points. The interior points along with the boundary is called the region of the curve. Let us go back to our starry sky. If you can make a closed shape by connecting each star using a straight line segment, the shape you get is called a polygon. But not all the shapes are polygons. For a shape to be a polygon, the line segment intersect only at the end points. Each end point is shared by only two line segments. So, let us do a quick test. Which among these shapes are polygons? This is a polygon. This shape is not a polygon as the shape is not a closed figure. This is not a polygon either as this point is shared by more than two line segments. The segment which make up the polygon are called the sides of the polygon. The end point of each segment is called a vertex. Now tell me, is this shape same as this shape? No, this shape has three sides and this shape has four sides. Based on number of sides or number of vertices, we give different name to each shape. Shape with the three side is called a triangle, four side is called a quadrilateral, five sides pentagon, six side hexagon and so on. Let us look more closely at these shapes now. We see that some angle is formed at vertex. In this shape, if we look, none of the angle is more than 180 degree. If each angle is less than 180 degree, the polygon is called a convex polygon. If at least one angle in the polygon is more than 180 degree, then the polygon is called concave polygon. If we take any two points, that are not consecutive and join them with a straight line, that line is called a diagonal. So, in this quadrilateral, we can draw two diagonal. Okay, we have given too many names here now. Let us try to learn something different. One question that you will face a number of times 
either in your exam or while solving some problem. Would be to find the sum of angles of a polygon. Let us start with the simplest polygon, a triangle. We all know sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So we can say that sum of interior angle of a triangle are 180. Let us take a step higher now. If we add two triangles, we get a quadrilateral. So, if the sum of angle of a triangle is 180, then sum of angle of a quadrilateral made by two triangles. That will be 2 into 180 is 360 degree. Now, if we add one more triangle to this shape, what shape do we end up with? Yes, a five-sided figure or a pentagon. So, what will be the sum of interior angle of a pentagon? Yes, 3 into 180 is equal to 540 degree. Here we see a pattern, don't we? A four-sided quadrilateral contains 4 minus 2 in, that is equal to two triangles. A five-sided pentagon contains 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 triangles. So, if we have a polygon with n sides, it will have n minus 2 triangles. And sum of angles for n minus 2 triangle will be n minus 2 into 180. I hope this will help you to remember the sum of interior angle of any polygon. Sum of interior angle of a polygon will be with n side will be n minus 2 into 180. One interesting fact we can observe is that whatever be the number of sides of the polygon, the sum of all its exterior angle will be 360 degree. So, a square or a hexagon or a decagon, all shape will have the sum of its exterior angle equal to 360 degree. So, in this way, shapes continue to amuse me. We will soon learn more interesting facts about shapes and also learn to appreciate more fascinating maths around us. Till then, happy learning!